we have this tremendous potential for reimagining how the land is used, and one of those uses should be urban agriculture. Eighty percent of the people in the United States now live in cities, so they have to be fed. Anyone anywhere should be able to grow and provide food for their community because everywhere there are eaters and everywhere there's at least a little bit of land. Look, what if we could take our garbage and grow food in it? Well, any six-year-old will tell you that's cool because that's cool. We're showing people how to change themselves, how to change the community, how to change the soil, how to change the city, the country, the nation, through this work. The one thing that connects all human beings is the fact that we have to eat food. So my thing has always been, why don't we eat good food? The first time I heard food security, I imagined like tanks rolling through the neighborhood with watermelons on the back or something. Like, what is food security? There's like 35 million acres of lawns in this country. What if we unleashed 35 million acres of urban farms on the industrialized food system? Like, what would that look like? Hi. Is it hi? <laughs> hi, he's Dan. And I'm Andrew. And we're from Omaha, Nebraska. Growing up in Omaha together, we always wanted to make a difference in our community. We also couldn't wait to leave. And we did. We went to opposite coast for college and both learned about sustainability. Dan got really interested in growing food and worked on a few farms. Andrew helped make a couple of films in college, always wanting to make his own feature. Coming back home after graduating, we both saw our city in a new light. Driving around, we noticed manicured lawn after lawn, an empty lot after lot, and realized many of these could be used to grow food. While Nebraska is known as a farm state, it was hard to find anyone growing food for people to eat. And looking outside of town, all we could find was corn and soybeans, most of which is processed into livestock feed, fuel, or junk food. To us, this really didn't make sense. From the early pioneers and the first homesteaders, Nebraskans have always provided for themselves. Why weren't people using the land in and around our city to grow food for the community? On top of that, we also started seeing billboards around the community that proclaimed our poor health. Turns out, Omaha is one of the fattest cities in the country. If you had like to choose a last meal, what would it be? Oh boy. I'd say a good steak. 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 Ribeye. Definitely a steak. Filet. Steak. New York strip. Steak. Steak. Favorite food is steak. Oh yeah. Absolutely. And macaroni and cheese. I like macaroni and cheese. <laughs> 